We're here at the Deer Isle Stonington Elementary School building bird houses uh, with the fifth and sixth graders. And right now they're in the construction phases of putting together chickadee houses or bluebird houses or maybe even tree swallow houses. And you can hear the hammers in the background and they're making their masterpieces. Well, we participate in many math and science alliances weather blur where we try to be authentic scientists and engage in computational thinking. So we have a bird feeder on the nature trail, and we wanted to come up with a measurable quest. In September, we hit upon, are there more birds on a cloudy day than on a sunny day? And it took us about a month to tweak that question so that it was measurable and accurate. We realized we were counting more, you know, we might be counting the same birds, so we said, well, let's call it bird visits. We did a whole activity where we learned how to estimate cloud cover, and then we actually got a device that measures solar radiation. We have data all the way October through December, and we can say definitively, <laughs> we, we hypothesized there are more birds on a cloudy day. We've studied birds all year long. When, whenever we've done anything in physics or chemistry or biology, we tied it back to birds. 